IP created during the employment belong to who? We have often been asked if an IP is created in the course of employment, it belongs to the employer or the employee. For example, if your employee is a graphic designer and design an artwork for you, or a video editor that actually edited a video for you in the course of the employment, then the work actually belong to the employer or the employee. According to the copyright law, these work actually belong to the employer. This is an automatic position. It's been stated in the Copyright Act clearly. If the employee later leaves the company, the employee actually cannot reuse the IP for the next employment or even if the employee started his own business. The IP actually still stays with the company. If the employee does use the IP after he left the company, then the employer can actually sue him for IP infringement. This position can only be reversed by way of written agreements. Although this is an automatic position under the copyright law, it is still advisable for the employers to have this IP clause clearly stated in their employment contract because there are many employees that might not aware that the companies actually own the IP even though the law says so, but they might not aware and then they still go on and use the IP after they left the employment because they are not aware. So you put this clause, this IP clause in the uh, employment contracts, like it's actually to make them aware of this before making the mistakes.